I opened the conversation by saying, well, the debate over whether the science is real, whether climate change is real, is over. So what I'd love for us to do is focus on those tensions that exist uh, amongst us who already agree that it's real. You know, well, we may have we we may disagree over the degree to which it's a question of mitigation and degree which it's adaptation. We may disagree over the question of whether it's about market solutions or whether uh, it's about policy in the end. You know, what are those tensions? And you shot back, I'm not sure you're right that the debate is over because we're not acting that way. Can you say something about that? We're not living that yes. way. <clears throat> if, you were, if we were really convinced that the alpine and subalpine forests in California will decrease by a factor of two, hence the watershed, as a certainty, would we be doing what we're doing today? And you know, by the way, it's dying because you know, the parasites like the pine beetles aren't being killed in frosts. It's, there are subtle reasons. And the Canadian arboreal forest, they're, they're, most of it is dying now. It's swaths of it, miles and miles of this stuff. And there's a cellulose uh, feedstock uh, sitting there waiting. There's dead forest. So if, if people in California really believed that this is going to happen in this century, their grandchildren, where the water supply is really at risk, would, would they be willing to pay 20 or 30 percent more for electricity? I would think if they really believed that, they would but they're not yet willing to.